Hey guys, gals, monster pals. Thank you for joining me today. I hope everybody's going to have a good time. May the force be with you because today is May 4th and we are going to have a good time drawing. We are going to actually draw a very complicated one today, but I'm going to do it step by step with you. So it's going to be moving very slow. You're going to be able to go right along with me. I got the tutorial down at the side and we're going to be drawing Vader. All right, so let's get started. The first thing I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to start drawing his body shape. So I'm going to draw a little shape, not quite a triangle, not quite a rectangle, but kind of a mixture of the both. So this is going to be the main body of Vader. All right. From here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add another little line up here. And I'm going to bring this down, this down. We're making almost a rhombus shape. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to just make it a little bit round at the bottom. Now we have the bottom of Vader's helmet. All right. So that's the first and second step. We have to add some feet down below. So I'm going to add some kind of rectangular feet. They're going to be kind of a half circle rectangular feet. But we're going to do that. And you might want to have a little bit further room than I did. Um, I might end up having kind of a stumpy little Vader. We don't know. All right. So from here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a half circle on top of the head. And I'm actually, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to change this up a little bit. So I'm going to put these a little further down because I want to give him a little bit longer legs. So I'm going to come down a little bit further. We're going to just do that same shape right here. I don't want my Vader to be too short. He's got to be somewhat intimidating, right? I'm going to draw a little hand area up here. And then I'm going to draw a little lightsaber hand over here. So from here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach the legs. So I'm going to have one leg that goes like that. And we're going to have one leg that kind of connects like this. And we have, we have some of our basics. So he also has these kind of shoulder pad type areas that are kind of these triangle shapes. So I'm going to draw that, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw another one over here. So we have our basic outline shapes of everything for him to be fitted onto the picture. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here around this line right here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to draw kind of a little curved up, curved down, curved up, curved down line. And then I'm going to put a line that goes up, another line that goes up. All right, we're going to go ahead and we're going to draw another little piece like that and a little piece like this. And we have the top of Vader's helmet. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to draw a little shape that's similar to a C. That's going to be his thumb. And then I'm going to bring another little kind of spiraled C right in here. That's the back of his hand. We have where his cape has connected. We're going to draw this little part where it is around his neck, that little collar thing he has. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to draw a little shape like this right here, too. All right. We're going to give him his uh, belt area. All right. And then I'm going to draw just a couple little things that are going to come in handy later. So I'm going to add these little lines right here. This is going to be where his legs are kind of going to be at. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to add a thumb shape over here and he's going to be gripping a lightsaber on this side so it's going to be kind of turned sideways and we're just going to go ahead and we're going to add a little line here and a little line here and these are going to be for one arm and we're going to go ahead and attach the other arm over here all right so we have that arm that arm attached we pretty much have all of our basic shapes made so i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to add another little finger up here. I'm going to add one finger over here, which is going to be kind of that circle shape. Okay. From here, I'm going to add a little bit of his palm. And we're going to add kind of a uh, line that's going to create his glove right here. And we're going to create that same one right here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down a little bit below this line. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a little curved line right there. And that kind of creates 
where that glove is going to look like it's going. All right. Now we need to add where he has his big flowing cape on the back here. So what I do is I just draw a little line that goes up and over, up and over. All right. We're going to add a little square in his stomach chest area. This is for his respirator. All right. I'm going to add a couple other little things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add like where his little belt comes together. And then I'm going to add a little line that comes down like this. And a little line that comes down from the edge. And we're going to go ahead and close that off. And basically we're creating that little flowy kind of shirt area he has. Those robes. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing on this side. All right, so we have that. He has some little details like in here. We're going to go ahead and add to his helmet again. We're going to do a little line that comes like this. And then we're going to do a little line that comes down like this. All right. So from here, what I need to do is I need to go ahead. I'm turning my paper a little bit just to make it a little easier to draw. I'm going to attach another finger. And I'm going to do another finger over here. And we're just going to finish that off. And we're going to have the final finger right there. So we have all of his fingers on. <clears throat> Excuse me. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put a little line that comes up like this. This is the front of his helmet. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. We're going to connect there to there. All right. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to draw a little line that's kind of curved out right here. We're going to use this to kind of lead us into drawing the rest of his face features. But first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit more. We need to add his cape. So I'm going to draw a little line that comes down like this. And I'm going to draw a little line that comes down like this. All right. From here, I'm going to draw another line that goes a little further down than each of those because we're going to do a really cool effect when that happens. So I'm going to attach these little guys to the hand so it looks more like a glove on this hand. All right. I'm going to add a couple of little details up in here so it looks like he has his little mantle area. So we have that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make a little line that goes like this. And that so we're making it into a box shape okay and we're just going to connect that right there then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead we're going to draw just a couple little details in this thing so we're going to add a couple little rectangles that are going vertically like that and then we're going to do a couple little areas that are like this all right, so we have a couple more of those little things going on. Now, we can go ahead and start working on some of the other stuff. So I'm going to do a little cylinder shape that goes through this hand. This is going to be his lightsaber. I'm going to close it off like that. So it kind of creates a little cylinder shape. And then from here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add to the rest of the body and the cloak. So the cloak, I'm going to bring down like this. So we have that. And then I'm going to go ahead and close this one off. So we have like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a little line that kind of just goes from one to the other. And we've created kind of that robe cloak that he wears behind him. I'm going to add a little bit of detail right in here by adding these little frilly lines right here. We're going to start working on the face some. I add in where his nose is going to be. It's a little half circle right here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to have a little line that comes up like this. All right. So if you're following along and you're looking at the steps and everything, one of the things you're going to see is I'm going to change it right now. I'm going to go to the next set of steps. So these were the first seven steps. I actually have 12 steps I do with this guy. So from here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change it to the final five steps. All right. So from these steps, what I'm going to do, not sure what that was, 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to just add little bits to this. So I'm going to have, um, let's see, I actually think I moved slightly ahead on that one. I moved a little bit more ahead than I was. All right. So from here, I'm going to draw just a little line that goes like this. And we are going to go ahead and move to having two little circles right here. These are going to be around his mouth area. Okay. We're going to connect those circles to this. All right. So we're creating that little mouth area he has. From here, I'm also going to draw a line that kind of goes down and down. This is going to be what creates the bottom of his mask. Okay. We're going to go up here. And we're going to create the nose area. And we're just going to create the little eye area. Okay. We're going to go ahead and we're going to attach a lightsaber to the end of this, which is just kind of a long curved line like that. We'll clean it up. Okay. Now, from here, what we're going to do is we're going to add a couple more details. So we're going to go up here. We're going to add a little ridge to the top where this meets. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to draw a line that goes back like this. And back like that. We're going to have a little line that comes down here and meets up with the front of the mask right here. We are going to add a little cheek area where it would be. Pull in like this and down. Like that. And we're going to have the same one over here. We're going to have it come out. And we're going to have it come down. All right. So we're creating that little shape right there. All right, I'm going to add just a little palm right here. And we pretty much have all of our stuff ready to go on this, other than I need to kind of adjust the eyes a little bit. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make them a little bit more curved here and here. Less so much of this high shape I did. I made it a little too curvy. Okay, so I'm going to bring that down some. And I'm going to add a little shape in here. Okay, and I'm going to add some little lines going down. This is where his little respirator mouth area is. All right, we're going to add just a little bit down here on the legs. So we're going to give him some boots. That way when we go to clean up some, we'll have it where it looks more like a boot. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start cleaning my image up. So I'm going to go ahead and start outlining some of these shapes that I've drawn. You guys should be used to doing some cleanup on this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add that. Outline some of these shapes. And just because it's easier, I'm going to turn my paper around so I can go ahead and outline what I need to. I'm starting with the things that are up front so it makes it a little easier to see. Paper's getting caught on a couple little things. All right. We're going to add the little chest area in here. Draw my armor with. That was bad. But then what we're going to do is we're going to just keep adding these little details in here. Okay. I'm going to I'm going to change up the legs just slightly because they look a little too skinny for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stretch that out, bring it down here, and then I'm going to bring this one. And we're just going to make this look a little bit bigger. All right. We had that part of the leg. We'll add this little part. Legs look a little skinny to me, so that's why I'm doing that, making them a little bit bigger. All right, we'll go ahead and close that one off. All right, let's see, what else do we need to do? We're going to start with the cape here. Going to draw both sides of that. 
think I'm just going to bring this down. Like that. Create that line. And we're slowly getting our Vader finished up here. Do little bits to make it look a little bit more complete. Obviously, we got to finish up his little belt area around the waist. We can go ahead and start working on the hand. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and bring this down. We have a little glove here. So like I said, this one's a little bit more complicated than some of the ones we've done in the past. So it is going to take a little bit more patience, take a little bit more time. Like we haven't even gotten to the coloring or anything, and we're already longer than we've had on a lot of the other videos. So what I'm doing is I'm just taking my time. I'm not moving too quick. I'm not forcing anything. I'm just trying to have some fun while I draw, not get frustrated. And it makes it a lot easier to do stuff. If you start getting mad at yourself because something doesn't look right, it's okay to just let it not look perfect. We're drawing to have fun, not for perfection. Okay. We're going to come up here. We're going to add that little area. Add this little area. Neck. Okay. We have that mantle done now. Now let's go ahead and focus in on the face a little bit. So I'm going to start with the nose. We're going to bring that down. These are going to be circles. Bring this up here. Now there's a lot of little details on Vader. And it is not a bad thing if you simplify some of it. So that's one reason that I've kind of simplified a lot of what I've done with my Vader mask. Because there is a whole lot that you have to do with it. So, try not to overwhelm yourself. Alright, so we're going to draw a little line there. We're going to bring this up. We're going to bring this up. Bring that little line right there. We're going to start on the inside of the helmet. We're going to have where it connects to the back. Now, like I said, I wanted to lower this down some, so this is where I'm going to actually put this line. I'm not going to have it as high up. Add a little bit of his mask here. We're going to go ahead and close this top part of the mask right here. And then we're going to just attach this line, have it go up. Go above where that line is in the picture. And we're going to do one that goes down. Finish off this side of the helmet. Draw that side of the helmet. And there we go. We have our basic Vader. So I'm going to go ahead and do some color into mine. So I'm going to get out some crayons. I'm going to just have some fun coloring this guy. So I didn't outline the saber. There's a reason for that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make it kind of look like it's glowing, and I'm going to show you a trick on how to do that. So I'm going to start with that. I'm going to have my red. I'm going to go in here, and I'm going to draw the lightsaber. We're going to make it this bright red lightsaber. What I'm going to do is I'm going to leave just a little bit of white inside the saber itself, and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to have a little bit of glowing red go around it. So I'm just leaving a little bit of white around the saber. Okay. And it creates that kind of effect that it's a glowing lightsaber. Now from here, there is a lot of black and grays to Vader, so there's not going to be too many colors that I'm using on this one. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to make sure I have the right colors. So that's the first thing I'm going to do. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pull up a quick picture of Vader so I can make sure I know the colors and you guys don't roast me on it later because I don't want to be messed up. But 
we are going to start with doing our gray areas. And so for our gray areas, we have around here in the mantle area, we have a couple of them that are gray. Okay, I'm going to color some of those in. I'm going to do some gray on the box because the box kind of stands out on them, even though it's a black box that's on them with some gray and red highlights and blue highlights. I'm just going to do the whole box kind of gray, okay, because it'll be a little bit easier. So as you can see, I'm not doing anything too dark. I'm going to add a couple of little buttons in here. It'll be red, red. Let's add some blue to it just because but we have that. And now we have like little bits around his belt. So I'm going to do the inside of his belt kind of gray like that. And then he's pretty much like mostly black for everything else. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and like do a little bit of lighting. So I'm going to act like the light's coming from a saber. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a little bit of it pull off to the side in here. I'm not going to color it completely in. So you can see I'm leaving just little bits like right here and here and along this edge that are going to be red. Okay. And that's just because he's getting a little bit of glow from his lightsaber. So I'm going to do that on a, a couple of pieces here. And then I'm going to color the rest in black. So you guys don't have to watch me color everything. You can skip a little bit ahead if you want. Um, but for now, I'm just going to color this guy in real quick. And then I'm going to show you how I'm going to add that little bit of light to it. To give Vader a little bit of a different look. Oh, and you know what? We need to have kind of little silver rods here and here. The little mask area has a little bit of lesser gray. And you know one thing that I forgot to do? I forgot to draw these lines right in here. So I'm going to go back in. I'm going to draw these lines. All right. So now we got those lines. I'm going to go back to color. I'm going to leave little bits that I can have that will be um, red in here. All right. So I know we have kind of a long lesson today. So hopefully you're enjoying it. I know I haven't been able to post as much recently. I have been working a lot on other tutorials and stuff like that, and I do hope to plan to share them with you. Um, it's just right now I haven't been able to do live every day, and for the foreseeable future, I don't know how often I'm going to be able to do lessons. So I just want you all to have some fun with what I have going on right here. And I thought, hey, you know what? Today's a good day to do it because it's May the 4th, and we got to have some drawn of Star Wars characters. So we're going to start with this one. I might do another Star Wars one uh, a little bit later just so we can have like a little bit more of the celebration of the Force. Hopefully you guys are having a good time. If you haven't watched any of the new movies, you have some time right now that you get to watch them. But as you see, I'm just coloring him in. And we're just kind of coloring Invader. He doesn't have much color variation, I know. So you can change things up if you want. Maybe he has like gray boots instead of black boots. Maybe his cape has a little blue to it. You can add a couple of different colors in there. Whatever you want to do. He's your picture that you can draw. I'm just going to go ahead and color him mostly black. And what I'm going to do is when I get to this back inside of the cloak, I'm going to color a little bit darker so it stands out a little bit. So you see I'm just kind of doing this. I'm going to add a little bit here. And I'm almost done coloring them. So we're just going to color these last little bits. We got a lot of noise outside. I'm sorry if you're hearing it. I don't know what is going on out there. And we have pretty much finished color invader in other than we're going to add some little highlights to the lighting of it okay so i'm going to add a little bit of red in the helmet oh that's not my right red this is my right red so it's catching a little bit of 
light from the saber. Just a little bit. We're going to do a little bit in here. On the cape. On the arm. So he's getting just a little bit of that red. I'm going to do a little bit more around the, the hand and pummel. And then I'm going to go back in and I'm going to color it. There we go. We have a nice little easy Vader once you break it down into steps. You can have him fighting Chewbacca or Yoda. We've done a bunch of them before. But we have we have a nice simple Vader. So hopefully you guys had a lot of fun doing this one. If not, I'm very sorry. But hopefully you'll join me again for another one. Um, till next time, I will see you guys later in a galaxy far, far away. Bye, guys.